Oh, but the hills are alive. <laughs> On March 2nd, the classic film The Sound of Music turns 50 years old. And to commemorate this milestone anniversary, Tom Santopietro, <laughs> film historian and author of The Sound of Music Story, is here with us today. Welcome, Tom. Yes, thanks very much Thank for having so me. Thank you so much. So what makes this book like, like stand out from all the other books? Well, I think it's the first book about the sound of music that uh, combines a fan's perspective, because I love the film, uh, with a, fil a film historian's uh, viewpoint. So the, I think the uh, mashup of those two makes the book uh, unique. Unique, uh, definitely. And I think we're excited because we're both fans. Yeah, we're huge fans. <laughs> um, so what was your personal reason for writing the book? Well, I thought the fact that it was the 50-year anniversary uh, mm -hmm. was a sort of a great marker. And I was thinking about the fact that this is universal. People everywhere around the world love this movie so much. And I, I think the reason for that at heart, it's about family. And everybody relates to that. Right. Yeah. So why, why is this film still universal after 50 years? What, what is making it stand out? What is, well, is it relevance today? Uh, I, I think it's the fact, look, it has that great score. Uh, both of mm -hmm. you were uh, singing songs <laughs> from it, which I liked very much. Uh, it has a, a, a star at the peak of her powers, mm -hmm. uh, a great director. And with the family angle, I, I think it's that what people take comfort from The Sound of Music. There's a sense of hope about the film, mm -hmm. and that's what everybody wants. Right. Yeah, so absolutely. We're in, that, we're in that time we all want hope, is what you're saying. Uh, absolutely. You know, we, we all, uh, events happen in the news, you feel like the ground is shifting underneath yeah. you, mm -hmm. and there's the sound of music saying, you know what, happily ever after may happen. Yes. And I just thought, oh, that's worth writing about and looking right. into. Absolutely. Well, I'm sure another sort of uh, milestone for the movie was Lady Gaga's uh, yeah. performance at the Oscars last weekend. Did you get a chance to check that out? What did you think oh, of it? Oh, totally. I was just like, <laughs> wow. Because what, what for me was, Gaga comes out and my first thought was, well, she's not wearing the dress made of shellac cuts of meat. Right. So that we're right, right. And we're then, doing well. I mean, <laughs> and then to have her sing those songs, I thought she sounded great. Yes. And what really struck me, and I think the reason why people responded so much is, you could tell she loved that music. That yes. was very heartfelt. Right. And then when she brought Julie Andrews out at oh the end, gosh. I thought, this is a great moment. I but melted. it is a great, right? It she looks amazing moment. still, Julie Andrews. It's she looks unbelievable. Great. She hasn't aged at all. No. What are some <laughs> of the unknown facts about the film? Well, I think the fact that um, uh, the first thing I loved was that when we talked about its universality, mm -hmm. that when uh, Ronald Reagan was in the White House and they were having a big uh, economic summit and they prepared the briefing book and Reagan, the next day they went in and talked to him and he clearly had not read the briefing book mm -hmm. and they said, Mr. President, how could you not do this? And he said, I couldn't read that book. The Sound of Music was on TV last night. <laughs> <laughs> right. And I thought, That's wow. Amazing. <laughs> and I one think, actor uh, to another. <laughs> the other, you know, it was just a lot of fun to see who else was considered to play Maria. Mm -hmm. And they uh, considered Grace Kelly, even though she was Princess Grace by that right. point. Mm -hmm. They considered Doris Day because she was so, the biggest so star. Which is so funny because in my head I think of, of Doris Day and I'm like, I can't even picture her actually as Maria. And I think it's because... Julie Andrews is so She just did such a good job. She, she did you know, such a mind. good job. Right. That yeah. You That's feel right. like that nobody else could have done it except right. for her. She was Maria. Yeah, and, right. and it's the role when everybody, when anybody says Julie Andrews, that's what you think of. You think of the same Has anyone music. ever solved the problem? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, but they've well, tried. One right. of the interesting things I also learned from your book was, you know, that scene where she's up in the mountains twirling around. Mm -hmm. yes. and the hills that, are alive. Yes. Uh, and it was shot from a helicopter, right? It was shot from a helicopter, and that was a really fun thing to learn that was yeah. as the helicopter zoomed in on Julie Andrews, the downdraft was so strong that it kept knocking Julie Andrews over into the mud. Oh my gosh. And so she'd be <laughs> pulling the grass off herself and they and they would come in again and she got knocked down something like ten times. Oh my so, goodness. So, well so, so tell us about, you know, this was such an iconic film and it really made the careers of some of the actors and actresses who were in it. Yeah. Um, what happened to them after the movie? Well I w another thing that really interested me was uh, the the kids, the seven kids, who are now, of course, right. uh, grown Trump, adults. The one who's played the Von Trump. Right, yeah. the, the uh, actors. And uh, the oldest, Charmian Carr, uh, became a decorator who de became very close to Michael Jackson and decorated his oh, Neverland wow. Ranch. Wow. So that's an interesting <laughs> fact. And I think the fact that the seven kids all 
have led uh, very solid lives. Mm -hmm. You know, the, so I think fans of the film like the fact that mm -hmm. off screen they were great kids. Yeah, yeah. That's so great. does the movie present a real life perspective on what Maria and the Von Trops were like? Well, I mean, I, I went on the Sound of Music tour, but you know, <laughs> I, I love the fact that you went <laughs> on the tour. I know. So I need was to go. Was it amazing? It yeah, it was a lot of fun. Did you sing on the tour? I did. <laughs> I did. The whole bus. Yeah. So was it, is it anything true to that? I, I the think story? the basics of the film are absolutely true. Right. It differs in that they didn't escape over the mountains into right. Switzerland. They actually took well, a train to Italy. Oh. But they got to Italy one day before the borders were sealed. I mean, the, the danger from Hitler and the Nazis, absolutely true. Right. And in real life, they defied Hitler three separate times, and that takes guts and that courage. That does take guts, because yeah. he yeah. was part of the, he was supposed to be summoned, right? Is yes. that the truth of it, right, yeah. on Trump fans? So yeah. have you gone on the tour yet? Do you know that I, I was going to go on the tour, and oh. I had... Uh, uh, hurt my leg and had to have a number of surgeries, oh, no. and so I had to postpone the trip. Postpone, oh, there we go. <laughs> That's good. So, do, you, do you remember the first time you actually saw the movie? Uh, absolutely. <laughs> clear, clear as a bell. And everybody does. I mean, do you yeah. both remember oh, seeing I it? Do. Or, yeah, I remember going to the theater and actually seeing it in Beverly Hills with my grandmother and my mom, and it was, it was a family thing. That's what you did. Yeah. And then right. every year, you watch it on TV three or four times. It, it was, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't own movies, but my uncle gave me the VHS <laughs> tapes of it, and I remember that box set and what it looks like, and wow. I watched it maybe once a month. So so I've seen it like hundreds of times. It, it, it's that, it's that uh, uh, again, that sense of family. And so it, the movie is huge throughout the Caribbean. That was something I wow, learned. It was very, very popular. In China, it was only one of five films that Chairman Mao allowed to be shown. Wow, right. so that when, says a lot. The, so you had a fan yeah. that's seen it five, what is it, five, 900, 900 times? 900 times, I this think. This woman yeah, in <laughs> Wales has seen it 900 times. That's amazing. That, that's... Well, I have to start rivaling her. I'm going <laughs> to see it 901 times. Well, thank Thank you so much, Tom. What a wonderful film that still captivates audiences <laughs> 50 years after its premiere. For more information about Tom and the Sound of Music story, visit TomSantoPietro.com or you can find his book at local bookstores or on Amazon.com. Yes.